Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here. It is August 29th, 2019, 8.44 a.m. here on the West Coast, and we got a 6.3 earthquake coming into the uh, Pacific Ocean out there just off the coast of Oregon. Uh, pretty good sized earthquake there that was hitting the uh, seismograph stations here in uh, Oregon, but uh, no tsunami expected uh, from this 6.3 earthquake, which you can see the red dot there. Uh, they got this uh, about 284 kilometers west northwest of Bandon, Oregon. Now it looks like a few people have been feeling it out there along the coast, or did feel it. Uh, also felt it possibly inland towards the uh, Eugene region as well. Uh, pretty good sized quake. Not going to produce a tsunami, folks, out there. Uh, that's a good thing. And um, oh, that kind of went a little haywire. But. Uh, Yeah, definitely being felt there in southern Oregon and also inland, uh, like I said, towards the uh, Eugene area. And you got a depth of about 5.4 kilometers on this earthquake, and it's uh, pretty pretty shallow for out there. Right out there, uh, well, west of the uh, Cascadia subduction zone, but still within the vicinity of the uh, the, monst the monster that sleeps out there. Let me see if I can zoom in a tad bit here. Get a little bit closer look and show you guys exactly which fault structure um, and area this thing hit on. Okay, this is kind of on the Blanca fracture zone, just right on there. Um, which we've seen earthquakes out there in that region before. So, uh, still a little bit of stress building up out there. Uh, but uh, hopefully we'll uh, call it good and move on throughout the day. I don't want to see any major mega quakes out there in the uh, uh, Cascadia subduction zone range, which uh, is very capable of a 9.0 or greater quake. Uh, but for now, 6.3 earthquake well off the coast of Oregon, but definitely being felt by a few folks there in Oregon around the uh, Bandon and Coos Bay, also Eugene, Oregon area. So uh, anyway, folks, stay safe out there. We are running the live stream now with hurricane coverage of Hurricane Dorian, which is now expected to be a category four strength hurricane as it makes landfall there in Florida with uh, Miami, um, right now looking like to be the bullseye area uh, for landfall. We will continue to monitor this as it makes its way through warmer waters there um, through the Caribbean areas and uh, strengthens up and takes form. I'm sure within the next, uh, well within the next 24 hours we'll see the uh, development of an eye wall and, uh, and then we'll go from there. I will be including a live stream video of uh, an area out there along the western uh, eastern part of um, the Florida coast uh, that will be coming up here possibly later today early tomorrow morning so stay tuned as uh, I get that on the live stream as well so make sure you uh, share this channel this video uh, if you can we do provide the latest information out here on Hurricane Dorian and uh, it's gonna be a doozy uh, I will be doing an update video on Hurricane Dorian in a little bit. Uh, we'll be taking a look at some other weather models and forecasting tools that I use uh, to see if we can, can't get a spot on bullseye area um, and also look at the strength, the, uh, the strength of the winds as it comes on uh, and makes landfall as a category four. All right, folks, stay safe out there. Have a great day and we'll chat to you folks a little bit later. Stay safe.